Hello, my name is Keith McMenamin. I'm doing my decontamination video from my kitchen sink. As you can tell, with my PPE, I'm wearing my head coverings, safety glasses, splash shield and mask with an apron. Normally I would have long sleeves on, but they were not provided with us. And I have the shoe coverings. Um, also, I have the gloves that I will be putting on during the decontamination video. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the angle here to look down at the sink. Now, when it comes to decontamination of materials, Usually it begins at the point of use and once they're already started to get the gross soil from it, it will come down to the decontamination area, which would normally have three sinks, but as we only have one sink, that is all we can use at the moment. I have in the sink mayo scissors, coker clamp and the suction device. Um, usually if you're using like a Prolistica solution for decontamination, you would want to have your water temperature between 100 or 80 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit with a soaking time for about two minutes. When you're going to be taking care of cleaning, you're going to brush away from you, always under the water. Brushing always under the water, away from you. Getting care to take care of all of the blades, all of the areas. You don't want to brush outside of the area, outside of the water, because you don't want any of the particles to become aerosolized. Further, possibly causing anything to get into past your PPE. So you're gonna clean all of your depart parts, the ratchets, finger pieces, everything's gonna be cleaned underwater. With your Lungauer suction device, you're going to be using Again, underwater, the brush to go all the way in and through, making sure to get all the way to the end. Normally you would do one way and pulling out the other end, but this brush particularly doesn't allow for that to happen. You're going to want to make sure that you get all of the little tips and pieces clean while it's underwater. Once you are done with your initial wash, you would go to the intermediate sink, which would have softened water to help remove the detergent and any other loose debris. In the final rinse, there will be distilled or deionized water to remove all the trace elements. And that will be the cleanest of the of the uh, rinses before going into the washers. Whenever you're doing your cleaning, of course, underwater, make sure to get all of the box locks wherever there is any place for biofilm to hide. Always scrub underwater. After this part goes, then you'll load up, up in your racks and you'll prepare for decontamination, which could be in a thermal insulator or an ultrasonic cleaner, which uses cavitation to release everything. And then, after, and then to the mechanical washer for the final cleaning. When your items come out of the clean side, 
they will be inspected, dried, and assembled into kits for sterilization. And that is my decontamination video.